Yeah, we are here in Garden Grove and we're right on the Garden Grove Westminster border. You can see the accident scene behind me. Let's set up for you what we know so far. You see this is Newland right here, the intersection of Newland and Trask. There was a Camaro coming down Newland. Apparently, according to the Orange County Sheriff, as we'll hear from in a moment, they tried to pull this Camaro over a block or so away. It took off and what we understand went through this intersection. That's when it ended up here. And the accident we understand started in Westminster, ended up on the Garden Grove side, hit a BMW. You see the BMW right over here in the front of this apartment complex. Unfortunately, we've learned that the driver of that BMW has passed away. We're going to bring in Sergeant Mike Woodruff right now with the Orange County Sheriff's Department to kind of set up. You were saying uh, initially we'd heard this was a pursuit. You're saying it wasn't technically a pursuit. Kind of tell us, kind of give us start from the beginning. Give us the rundown of what you know happened so far and also what the status is of the driver of that Camaro that, that went through the intersection. Sure. So at approximately 10 o'clock this morning, deputies noticed a black Camaro headed northbound on Newland Street at the area of Westminster Avenue that had fraudulent tags on its, on its car. From that point, they attempted to do a car stop on the black Camaro. It refused to yield. And about a block later at the intersection that where we're at, it blew the red light and unfortunately this black BMW was heading eastbound and it collided with the black Camaro. So from that point the two individuals in the BMW uh, were taken immediately to the hospital and the driver, a 64 year old male, uh, unfortunately succumbed to his injuries uh, at the hospital. The uh, passenger was a 54 year old male that uh, from last I've heard is in critical but stable condition. So the suspect actually fled the scene and so Westminster and Garden Grove Police Department along with the Sheriff's Department set up a perimeter and were later uh, able to detain and positively identify the suspect who is now in custody with the Sheriff's Department. And do they believe the suspect was alone in that vehicle? Uh, they do. And was there any other reason? I know you, you said there was a violation. I think a tags violation was the reason they initially tried to do this stuff. But were they following for any other reason? Was he suspected in some other case? So right now it's only the fraudulent tags that I'm aware of. And as far as uh, we've got the streets shut down in both directions here, I think you said CHP is going to handle the traffic uh, investigation, if I'm correct. Uh, how long can we expect this area to be closed down here? So it will only be opened up until CHP has concluded their investigation of the area. So as far as uh, people traveling in this area, if they could stay away for about two hours. Thank you very much, Sergeant Woodruff. Uh, that's the latest, and you can see this whole intersection is a busy intersection over here, closed down for now. So if you're planning on coming this way, you might want to find an alternative route for now. Reporting live here in Garden Grove, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.